everybody welcome to the messy cook by dale uh thanks again for all your support i hope you're doing well today we're going to be doing a 10 minute meal which is great for those weeknights when you get home from work or you get home from your home office and you have to cook well this is perfect these are 10 minute sloppy joes fantastic my kids growing up loved uh, these sloppy joes so we would make them a lot um it's going to start with a half a cup of uh, green pepper sliced very finely well as finely as this is um, a half of an onion um, sliced up as well uh, cubed chopped um, and you get those until you put them in the pan with a little bit of olive oil and you just let them um, do their thing get a little soft next thing we're going to do is add two cloves of garlic to that And all you're going to do with the garlic is let it sweat out. You don't want to burn it. You know that burnt garlic is not good. It gets really bitter. So we're just going to make it fragrant. Turn this up a bit. Um, yeah, and it doesn't take very long. So this is a great meal for the, during the week, like I said, or on the weekend. You know, why not? Quick meal. Um, you can add all kinds of different toppings you want on it. You can... Um, uh, put it on regular bread we're going to put it on uh, hamburger buns but i'm mean, even in hot dog buns why not you know just whatever you want to do and it's pretty economical okay so i'm going to now this is getting fragrant oh yeah all right so we're going to add a pound of minced meat try to get it as lean as possible um you can do chicken uh, for sure or turkey ground turkey so we're just going to put that in there and let it um, cook up until it does not it's not pink anymore that's ground beef, right? that's ground beef. yep okay so I've got this little contraption which is a minced meat uh, chopper upper <laughs> and it just helps to make it into smaller um, pieces so it mixes up really well. So we're going to do this until the meat turns um, brown. Now, um, I was asked yesterday, I think this is pretty interesting. I was asked yesterday um, about our, um, what do you call it? Um, the, the, when we're filming, with, if we do any editing. And I said, no, <laughs> we don't. The only type of editing we do for our videos is we wait till the food is is uh, made. We go away, come back, and that's about it. And uh, they were shocked. And I said, no, we don't edit. What you see is what you get. In fact, we don't even have rehearsals. We get to all our, our uh, ingredients together and we hit the, uh, hit the play button or the record button. So uh, what you see is what you get. This is raw, raw material raw footage okay so here we go it's getting there let me turn this up a bit um, doesn't take very long like you can see it's uh, goes pretty quickly whoops making a mess it's almost there do some more of this I found this I saw this actually online uh, where did I see this oh Anna Olson I think uh, was using this or it might have been Christine Cushing. Anyway, some some chef online, and uh, I thought, oh, that's really nifty. And uh, I went on Amazon and I picked one up. So I use it. It's good. It makes it nice and crumbly. Okay, so this is almost getting there. So we're filming a little later today because we had a few things we had to do. So it's actually nighttime. Usually we we film during the day, uh, but not today. Okay, so we're almost there. So with the cold weather coming, uh, this is a great meal too for that. It's really um, comfort food, you know, and I'm making a mess. But anyway, okay, so we're almost there. And you know, I was asked um, by a couple of people, particularly my middle son, who said, can you make meals that we can make at home really quickly? On a weeknight when we're working and I went yeah I could do that so this is for Tim and Tim and Andrea although Andrea didn't ask for that Tim did specifically so yeah 
This is for Tim. All right, so there we go. Look, how long did that take? No time at all. Now, it says in the recipe to drain the uh, oil, but you know what? There's very little oil in here, so I don't have to. It was really lean ground beef, so I don't have to do that. This is what I usually use to drain uh, the beef. Okay, so let me just see. There's a little bit of oil, but it's fine. It's olive oil. It's good. All right, next. Now what we do is we're going to add in eight ounces of um, tomato sauce. This is Hunt's. I bought it in the can. You can make your own, of course. It's Canadian and uh, made with Canadian tomatoes. And uh, this one here actually has some onion and fine herbs and spices, but, you know, whatever. So about, uh, I'd say two-thirds of a can. So it's eight ounces or one cup. So that goes in there. So I'm going to turn this down a bit. Okay, so there we go. Now, easy. You're going, we're going to be putting in, uh, this is a prepared mustard. One teaspoon of prepared mustard. That goes in there. A half, a, mm, sorry, messy. A half a cup of ketchup. Again, I use uh, Primo, which is all Canadian. I try to do that as much as I can. You can't always, and that's fine, but I try. Okay, there's the ketchup. Oh, it looks terrific. Okay, next is brown sugar. And brown sugar, we're going to be putting in two to four tablespoons. It's a lot. But that's what gives it the, uh, the nice sweetness. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with two. Well, maybe three Is it tablespoons. I hope, yeah, three tablespoons. There, brown sugar. All right, and we've got this is onion powder, and I believe it's a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Yep. Actually, it was a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder and a half a teaspoon of uh, garlic. Okay, next, salt and pepper to taste and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Whatever. Um, you all know what I mean. Salt and pepper. Not too much salt because there's salt in the tomato sauce. Uh, Worcestershire, we're going to put in uh, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of Worcester. One. Two. There we go. And. Oh, that looks sloppy. Oh, it's, oh, it's going to be sloppy. It's going to be sloppy, all right. I'm going to increase it a bit to um, reduce it a little bit. Look at that. I mean, it you can't get anything easier than this, you know. And you can you can adjust the salt. You can adjust the amount of sugar you put in it. Uh, I mean, you know, th this is the basic recipe. You can do whatever you want from it. Okay, let's just get this done. Okay, let me just <laughs> try to clean up a bit. Uh, so I can make a nice presentation for you. Let me get these over here. Oh my gosh. Paper towels. It's all over the floor too. But anyway, it is what it is, right? Okay, cool. There we have it. Nice and thick. It's reducing. Okay, so what I did earlier was I made my potato salad, the Southern style potato salad. And this is the potato salad that's on another recipe, which I'm going to put a link to in the bottom and um, a little notice on the top of the screen too. Um, this is Southern style potato salad. This is a great accompaniment to this. You can have a green salad if you want. You can have French fries, potato chips, entirely up to you. We're going with this. So. I have here 
a plate, which I'm going to put, um, what I did was I toasted the hamburger buns. And I'm going to turn this off. Good to go. It's going to be sloppy. It's going to be sloppy. You can put cheese on this too, you know. It'd be really good. I'm just going to have it plain like this. Like that with a bit of potato salad on the side. Yummy. Okay. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Without making a mess. I would put a lot more in that, I think. Anyway. Okay. Let's try. Oh. Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. Definitely three tablespoons of sugar, not four. Unless you like it real sweet. But this is really good. Mmm. Fantastic. Okay. So, 10 minute sloppy joes. Fantastic meal. Put lettuce on it if you want to have some uh, healthiness to it. Um, and cheese and like I said, anything else. So, that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm going to have more recipes like this and we're going to go gourmet as well. We're going to cater to everybody's wants or their requests. Um, stay safe. Wear your mask and social distance and do what you have to do to get over this mess. Um, please uh, subscribe and like if you like this recipe and um, most of all, forget the mess. Enjoy your sloppy joes. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm.